I am just out on a quick Sunday morning hike, headed up to one of my local fire towers. I'm going to climb the fire tower and check out the views, which I will show you. And then uh, I'm going to head back down and find a spot to stop along the way and uh, make up some tea and just relax in the woods for a little bit. Here we are at the fire tower. It took just about a half hour to hike up to the tower, so I think it's about a mile. But it's about a thousand feet, so you will break a sweat. It looks like I will actually have some, some uh, views. We've got bad weather heading in, so I thought there was a chance it would all be obscured. Alright, I've made it to the top of the fire tower, and the views are pretty awesome. Actually, a really good visibility today. This is a uh, loop trail, so you come up one way and walk past the fire tower and then head back down the mountain another way. Like I said, I'm just going to look for a good spot off the trail to stop for a little while and uh, make some tea. And I'll show you the stove that I brought out for today. We've had some warm weather this past week, which has caused most of the snow to melt. And the trail's pretty much just ice. But uh, when you get off trail, there's still a decent amount of snow left. My feet are going in there quite a ways. You definitely would want snowshoes if uh, you were doing an off trail hike. Found a nice spot here off the trail to sit down and uh, make some tea. So let me just show you what we are working with here. I've got my pot and stove, some steaks, which I'll show you what those are for, alcohol, and my water. The stove I brought today is my favorite alcohol stove setup. I've got it here, I keep it in a Cuban fiber bag. I've actually got a new pot today that I've never taken out before, although I've tested it out at home. It is the Tokes. 700 got it there and uh, i'll explain why i picked this one in particular in a second um, but i'm normally using my snow peak 900 which also works with this stove system and the stove system is a starlight stove by zelf and then the caldera uh, or trail designs windscreen and it's just a uh, piece of titanium and it kind of hooks together like so and forms this cone and then the pot will essentially just fit right into there and then you set it on top of your alcohol stove pretty simple but it works really well and it's really efficient the caldera cone systems are pot specific because of the way the windscreen works it fits perfectly over your pot so you've got to have the right screen for your pot and they make different models depending on if you have a tall pot or a short one and how it fits in there um, this one i believe they don't actually make anymore i think it was called the ulc uh, was the model and uh, they stopped making it because it's not actually as efficient as the other systems um, But it still works really well and uh, it works with the pots that I have so I've just continued to use this one So the reason I bought the Tokes 700 pot is that it has Pretty much the same diameter as my snow peak 900 even though it is 200 mil smaller and it's you know a decent amount lighter than the 900 um, I can still use it with uh, 
they call the air cone. Once you have your cone assembled, which is as simple as just sliding these two pieces together, you just set that up here and you're going to use, at least with this model, because it's a, it's a shorter cone than some of the other ones. Some of the other ones are much taller. Um, with this system, you need to use two uh, pegs or tent stakes and you slide those in. You can find the right holes here while trying to film. You slide these through and these just act as pot supports to get your pot to sit at the appropriate height over the alcohol stove. All right, so now that is ready. Once I've got the stove in there and it is running, just simply take the pot, slides in there just like so. And you can see it forms a really nice seal around the pot and it just makes for a really efficient cooking system and it's protected a lot of a lot of the alcohol stoves you know you get the stove you get the pot support and you get the windscreen um, this obviously is functioning as both the pot support and the windscreen uh, so it's just a little bit simpler and it's kind of a nice all-in-one system Trail Designs does make their cones in both aluminum and titanium for different models. Um, and this one is one of the titanium versions. And the benefit of that is, as you can see here, I've raised these tent stakes from the lower, the lower setting to the upper. If I put the pot on there now, I now have a much bigger area inside of the cone and you can actually run a, uh, run a wood fire in there to cook your food. So this works great as a wood stove as well. Let's go ahead and uh, get this stove running. I've got my Nalgene flask that I use for storing the alcohol to run the stoves. Uh, it's not the lightest bottle, but I like knowing that uh, because it's a Nalgene, it's just quality and it's not gonna spill on me. It's also got the cap that comes off and it's about an ounce I'm pretty sure so I normally just fill this up most of the way and dump that into the stove So that is running good. I'm not sure if you can see it because I can't even see it really, but I can feel it. Here we'll just put some water into the pot. All right, we'll just give that a few minutes to uh, come to a boil or at least get close. It doesn't have to boil necessarily since I'm just uh, making some tea. For my tea today, I have got some Earl Grey. I can't remember the name of the brand, but uh, I do know that the company is out of Millerton, New York. Um, it's really good. It sounds like that water is boiling or just about. Oh yeah, it's boiling at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll take this off and let the stove burn out. And I'll just let that steep for about three minutes or so. I don't remember the weights of everything offhand, but I will uh, put them at the bottom of the screen here. Um, like I said, for this one here, you've essentially got three parts. Your screen, a couple stakes, which if you're backpacking or camping, you're going to have those anyways for your tent, and then your stove. 
And to pack this stove up, you just take your steaks out, take it apart here, and you just roll it up. I keep like a rubber band in the pot as well. Stick that in the pot and take the starlight stove. And put it away. That's it. That is the uh, Trail Designs called Air Cone. That's it for that one. Appreciate you all watching. I'll see you in the next video.